Today you will see what would happen to simple house appliances if we expose them to over voltage. I'm going to increase the voltage gradually. Using some old Soviet transformers, the voltage will be increased from 220 to 380 volts. And you will see yourself which device will survive this and how dangerous over voltage is. There's plasma! Oh my gosh! Well guys, let's go! The first gladiators are the bulbs. This is a simple bulb, I'd say classic, and a super modern one, the cord lamp. The source is simple 220 volt socket. I will increase the voltage gradually with these transformers and the voltage will go through the crocodile clips to the lamps. I have found that one specificity. Somehow, early in the morning, while everyone sleep, the voltage in the socket grows higher, up to 260 volts. Later, I go that there is nothing special in this effect. And the question for you guys, why do electricians raise the voltage while everyone sleep? That's dangerous. Okay, while you are thinking, we are starting. Let's start from 250 volts. Do it, I'll be looking after you. The lens glow normally, nothing happens. Let's give them some more. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Well, now the voltage is going to be devilish. It's too hot. Now we're talking. Hell yeah, bring it on. Oh my gosh, they work. It's almost 300 volts, but it's okay. Turn off. You have seen these guys. Uh, they don't care about 300 volts. There wasn't a single crack of sparking bulbs. It was like routine. Okay, now let's add some more. One more transformer. Let's go farther. Now bulbs are going to be exploded. Turning on. They are blasting! Oh my gosh, they didn't blow it! How is that possible? They glow in the same way! Bloody hell! This is very awkward. I really thought the boss must go blow up from this. Let's give them 370 volts. Which bulb is going to win? How do you think? The corn or ancient incandescent lamp? Come on, do it! How? Come on, 380! I can't get it! Explain me how this helped possible! Why they didn't blow up? Turning off? Why this doesn't work? Do the manufacturers make such good quality protection and they take 380 volts? It is supposed to work with 265 volts. It isn't for 370. Kitty cat! And there goes the third transformer I have. It's the last one. The current will be just impossible. One of the bulbs will not take this. Let's go! Hold on, bulbs, your lives are going to expire. And that's it, both, the old one. Yeah, it died! Oh my gosh, don't turn it off! The condenser has released the gas, but it didn't blow up. That's LOL, smell it. That's the electric, of course. This Lenin's moustache has melted. Stalin is dead. How could he die so old, Yosef? I do not believe that it was made in China. Yeah. You know that it's crazy, because it's the most cheap lamp. Can you fancy that? The corn bulb wins in this test. It has suffered, yes. It had to release the gas from the condenser. There is no electric anymore, but it works even without it. Let's carry on the next test. The cell phone chargers. We usually charge smartphones at night. No one looks after them. And the electricians increase the voltage at night. I have asked you already about it, and I hope you know the answer. Let's check the first charger. That is Nokia for such an old charger. The second one is the rival, Samsung. We will attach it through USB dock. If something goes wrong, the dock will protect my device. We are starting with 255 volts again. Charging process has started. There it goes. They look okay. Turning it off. Let's add some more voltage. It is going to be around 300 volts. Let's see. As you can see, all the devices are made with good extra voltage rate. Let's see what's next. The next step is 333 volts. Both still charging? Yeah. Alright, let's give them 400 at once. The balls didn't survive this. Bring it on! Oh wow, the Samsung went off. Yeah, it did, but it's still working. It gives out voltage despite the boom. Now we're going to give them the biggest voltage we can give. Here we go. It will blow up. Well... That was awesome. Oh, look here, it's burning on there. Is that electrolyte? 
What if this happened in your house? Just imagine, this can happen to a charger from over voltage. Such thing will definitely start the fire. It is burning out. I can see the winding, and that was a condenser. Look at it, it is damaged hard. But this Samsung one still works, despite it was damaged. Here we go. That's it. It doesn't even charge now. There was a slight sound from the charger, no smoke, no explosion, but it died. Have a look at it. The Samsung has made a great charger. They might overcome the rivals and they seal the charger. Consequently, if they appear fire, it will put out itself, because no oxygen. And the next contestant is gonna be the blender. Does it smell like trouble kitty? Open that samurai. Careful. We just wanna see what is going to happen to the motor and we have to disassemble it a little. By the way, that is a blender we blew up the batteries in. People say it is very sturdy. Hey kitty. So there is the motor. Have a look at this beauty. I have motor. I have a corpus. Mm. What the hell is that? The blender is ready to work. And we're going to give it the first dose. 255 volts. I hope it's not going to move. The sound was just crazy. Let's add some more. Set the minimum speed, please. And now turn it on. Turn it on, come on. Alright, that's the minimum. I guess you can see how it's spinning. Don't let it cut your finger. It's working good. And now let's see how it's working on the maximum speed. Adding power. Oh my gosh! These motors are strong as hell. They can spin and spin and spin with every voltage. If we get here a big impulse, it will fly. That was really deafening, it was hard to survive a minute for us. As you can see, it isn't even smoking here. It is hot, I'm afraid to touch it. Fancy that, it isn't even hot. The bearings did survive, and the motor must have been smashed with the torque, but it survived too. And even the brushes are alive too, they didn't even give a spark. For now, it is 100% winner. Right to guess is how many volts required to burn it. All fly to the moon. Well, let's get to the big fish. This TV brand is Nokia. And again, we will get it to 125 volts. Though all devices work with this voltage normally. It's speaking! Oh, really? Oh, it isn't the right channel. Let me browse something better. There is some man talking. Will it do? Sure. It is just perfect. Well, everything seems to be okay. And we're adding some voltage. Let's give it 330 at once, right? To finish with it faster, turn on the power, replacing the connection, it's almost ready, well, I wanna get the extinguisher. And now moving to the safe place. And hide. Well, I'll give him power. Hold it, hold it. It's coming, hold it. It is smashed! Oh my! It defecated so hard! Let me show you guys! It really defecated! Just look at all this! Oh my! Just pay attention please guys, look here! This hole is hot, that is as simple as pie, the condenser blew up, classic. Happens to the best of us. And now we're switching to dessert, that is a microwave. I anticipate that this microwave will explode like hell. It is going to radiate some devastating waves from the high voltage, there must appear a few ball lightnings. The balls are filled with energy, and they will fly around the yard. Next they will collapse and make a black hole. Anyway, I think it will blow up. 
We have bought the cheapest microwave we could find, just five dollars. It wasn't working, but it was a trifle and we have fixed it. And it's just like the brand new. It works perfectly. We are removing the case, just to see what is going to happen inside. Because it has lots of different parts inside. The magnetron itself, sound filter, a transformer, and some electronics here. Now it's 255 volts, let's add some power. The maximum power now, I'm putting a metal pin inside, to remove the extra energy. Here we go. Oh my, did you hear that? Sure I did. There is plasma inside. Oh my! Turn it off, turn it off. 300 volts. There is party hard inside. That was amazing. That was hard, you know. It can consume oceans of energy, our transformers are hardly giving that much. This one starts to eat more than 5 kilowatts of energy. It's going to be something. I think the bulb will burn. Oh my gosh! What the hell is happening over there? It started smoking. I cannot tell what's the problem. Duh. The winding is smoking and the high voltage winding is smoking too. That's all cracking. So what are we gonna do? Spare it or let it burn? It has melted. Let's let it leave maybe. We have blown too much today. The wire is so damn hot. It's 118 Celsius. That's a transformer. 51 Celsius in the magnetron. We can turn it on open maybe. We're gonna leave here a camera and stay away from there. Yeah, no one should be exposed to it. Maybe put here a bulb. You want it flying around the microwave? Yeah, sure. <laughs> if you want us to show the power of an open microwave and see the plasma balls coming out, ball lightings, etc., like this video and subscribe and we're gonna do this. That is gonna be damn dangerous to open this protection board. The Japanese mixer has won this contest. It didn't burn up and didn't even hit much. And the corn lamp is getting silver. It was smoking but still working. So it's hurt but alive. And the bronze takes this Samsung charger. No one is protected from all voltage. It can happen due to numerous reasons. It can happen in any building. If the electric panel loses zero wire, it is enough to start fire. Stay safe and always plug out all your devices before leaving your house, especially smartphone chargers. And now we're going to assemble a crazy chair from the chainsaw and some big wheels.